Well, we do have some showers and thunderstorms moving through the area, but that rain will continue to exit. Otherwise, we'll see a nice warm up in the weekend. But what is that forecast looking like for the eclipse? The answer on that coming up but right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the KTVO Skycam. That's located on top of the Milan High School in Milan, brought to you by Heritage House Realty. And we do see those clouds continuing to increase as well as some light rain showers are pushing through the Milan area into Sullivan County. Let's take a closer look at this and see what is going on because we do have some light to moderate rain showers, even some heavier uh, starting to push Push in just south of Queen City and into very northwestern portions of Adair County. Also, Milan, just southwest of Milan area, could probably hear a few rumbles of thunder. Uh, Unionville area did receive some light rain showers earlier. It's continuing to push off to the south and to the east. So here's what uh, your football forecast is. I will still say, if you are heading out to the football games, take your umbrella just to be on the safe, safe side because we do have about a 50% chance over the next few hours for those showers and thunderstorms across our viewing area. Temperature wise though we're looking about 81 degrees at kickoff halftime about 76 and about 74 degrees with cloudy skies when the game ends. So here's what it's looking like hour by hour about 7 o'clock again. Not everyone is going to be receiving some showers and thunderstorms. This is around 7 o'clock continuing to push off about 8 o'clock area. Here comes round 2 that's going to be moving and affecting more of southeast Iowa as we're heading into about the 10 to 11 to midnight time frame. Some of those could be strong. It'll be out of here by 1 o'clock in the morning. Otherwise, we'll see some decreasing clouds, some patchy fog developing late as well. So we're going to be waking up on Saturday morning with some patchy fog. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine throughout the day on Saturday into Sunday. We'll see start to see an increase in cloud cover, a slight chance of another pop up shower and thunderstorm throughout the day. Uh, but those temperatures are going to continue to warm up for tonight though. Well, right now we do have temperatures about 87 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Uh, dew points around 61 with southwest winds 13 miles per hour. So breezy conditions 88 degrees in Ottumwa. Looking at west winds around 8, dew point around 59. So really feeling not too bad out there, even though it is on the warm side. 64 degrees at 3 by 7 a.m. Mostly sunny and 62 degrees. So for tonight, 61 with that rain exiting and the patchy fog developing. Winds will remain light and variable across the area. Same thing as we're heading into Saturday as far as the winds. 88 degrees, so another warm day. And we'll start out with uh, some morning fog that should be burning off by 8 a.m. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine. Here's the extended five-day forecast and still looking at some showers and thunderstorms for Monday, about a 50% chance. Temperatures, though, we're looking about 90 degrees both for Sunday and Monday, cooling down to 80 83 degrees on Tuesday with another chance for showers and thunderstorms. Of course, anytime, check us out 24 7 at KTVO.com. So I'm really hoping, mm. though, that the rain from late Sunday night and into, er, into Monday, it'll be out of here by the time okay. the eclipse. We'll have a better idea on this as we're heading into the weekend. Chris will have a, a complete forecast on that especially Sunday night, and Riley will have one, of course, on Monday morning. Because we are all looking forward to that eclipse. We are. <laughs> I want to see it. I do, too. Thanks, Teresa. You're welcome. We'll be right back.